Okay, welcome to part two of my or of the series I'm doing on how to get through the basic global Python course. So we're up to stage two, and so far we've done inputs, prints, and we've assigned variables. So we're just getting started, so that's pretty cool. So first thing up, we're going to be using multiple variables, and in the program you can have as many variables as you like. And here we've got first, middle, last, and full name. I probably would be calling these first name, middle name, and last name, but that means we have to fix it up. And a really quick way to do that is double click, copy, and paste. That way you avoid typos as well. So we've got that there. Let's run that. But again, I'm, I'm back into this. So let's go run the code. <laughs> what is your first name? Fred. Fred. Horace. Horse. Horace. And first name. There you go. So good variable names and really terrible middle name. Uh, okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to write a program that asks for two team names and then prints out announcement of the match. Who is team one? Diamonds. Delete that, so don't cheat. So who's team one? Oh, well, this is the problem one. Who's team two? The match of the year, diamonds versus silver. So there's another example. So we've got two teams. So we're going to use a variable, team one equals, and again, prompts are important. Who is team one? Question mark, space, team one. And I've just assigned it as a string, so input team two equals input two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. So we cut and team two. And now print. Now, what are we going to print? The match of the year. Now, space, but finish the quote, a plus sign. Now, I'm going to do team one, and then I've got a plus sign, and I've got space versus, and I've got a full stop. Just pay attention to what's on the screen there, plus, and then team two. So let's run that and see what that runs like. Ah, syntax error, what have I got? I've got unexpected end of file while passing because I didn't finish my quote off. So I didn't finish, it didn't match the braces there. So that happens all the time. Easy fixed. Who's team one? Team one. Team two is silver ferns. Team one versus silver ferns. Yay, let's mark it and let's see how we go. Fail, what? I missed the exclamation mark at the end. Oh, so how do I do that? Okay, plus, I don't want a space exclamation mark. So run, um, run it. Diamonds, and I'll just copy and paste in here. Silver ferns, and let's have a look. So very easy to make simple, simple mistakes. Yay, I'll just pass that. So, um, very easy to fix simple mistakes too. So let's keep going. Ooh, Python, the calculator. Does my computer's good? It's working numbers. Okay. So, how many seconds in a day? Well, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day. So, yeah. and we could even be really helpful. Plus, will this work? I don't know. Probably won't. And this is going to show you an interesting error, which we're going to come up with. It's going to say, I've got no idea what adding a integer to a string is. It's just crazy. You're going to see how to fix that shortly. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to run that. I want to move on. So mega calculator. So how we would do that is this way. So let's have a look at this. We can actually add in here plus, I think again, no, we can't. Uh, so we've got seconds, minutes, minutes, hours, hours in a day. That's a bit redundant. I would probably call that seconds, minutes, hours, um, or seconds in a minute. Yeah, I guess that's all right. And then we did multiplication and we print that. And we should see exactly the same thing. So the previous one, like read this here, this is very important. Magic numbers are bad. Magic numbers are when you just go in a calculation, this here, you go, all right, calculate something. Nobody knows what that is. People know what this is. So readability is important because in a week, if you came back to your code, you'd have no idea what you were thinking. Okay, so we've got normal ones plus minus times is the asterisk, so that's shift and eight, and divide is shift and question mark, so it's a slash. Um, no divide symbol on most keyboards. Um, uses order of operations. Um, so it does multi multiply and divide, addition, subtraction, subtraction, and brackets first. So how many hours in a leap year? Hours in a leap year equals 365 plus 1 times 5, 24. Ooh. And let's have a look at, without the brackets, it's going to calculate. What are we going to expect? We would expect so it does multiplication first, 1 times 24 time, um, plus 365, so uh, 389. So that's not hours in a leap year. We just added 24 days to a year. Moving through. Numbers and strings are different. So here we go, A equal a number, let's call this a number, and B equals number two. And then we'll go print number plus number two. What's it going to do? Enter a number 55, enter another number 100, 198. And what? All it does is it concatenates. It's exactly the same as doing that. So we actually have to convert strings, because it takes a string back into a variable, into integers. So I was talking about doing that before. That's how do we do that? So we do we put int for integer, and then open a bracket, and then the string. So this one here, print integer 5 plus integer 6. 
There you go. And this is this is one way of doing it, but this is a much better way of doing it. So we actually convert the entire input into an integer and put it into a variable because then this becomes an this becomes an integer. So five, six, and this should be eleven. And I would actually just so we know. And here these are string. We can abbreviate string for str. I know last time I said don't abbreviate, but string names are very, very common ones. Okay, so oh, we're coming up to last year of school. I think school was about to save an exciting time. Yo, um, we're going to write a program which asks the user what grade they're in and what year it is now, and then calculates what the year it will be when they finish school. We're assuming that year 12 is last year of school. What grade are you in? 10. What is the year? 2015. What year we finish school? 2017. Well, maybe. So how would we do this? Let's think, let's think, 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 think. Think about it for a, for a second. Um, we would go. What do we need? We need the grade. We need the year. We need the value of what year you finish. We need to do a calculation and then print it. So um, I'm going to start off with what do we know? We know you finish year equals 12. So we know that. And we we need grade. So grade equals. We're going to convert an integer from our string. And we go which grade are you in? Okay. Ooh, what haven't I done? When we do this. I'm missing this. I'm missing that. Python even tells you it makes it nice and red. Okay. Um, yeah. So year equals int again. Input what year is it? Two brackets. And now I'm going to do the calculation. Now I'm going to say final year equals, and I've got my finish year. So finish year, and I'm going to take away. I'm going to take away, and I'm doing. So actually, no. My calculation is a little bit mucked up. What I'm going to do is I am going to calculate how many. Years I have to take away from 12. So I go uh, add to finish to year equals, and it will be finish year minus grade. And I'm going to introduce you to a comment. A comment in Python is just uh, telling what's happening in code. So calculate the number of years to go, and then add this to the current year. And I'll actually go current year. Now we're going to go final year equals current year plus add to year. Print. Now we're going to print our final year. Let's see if that works. A lot of code there, so probably some typos and stuff, but that's a 10. 2015. Oh, what have I done? I've done finish year grade. Finish year is not uh, FINISH, FIN, and it's a typo. I told you there'd be a typo. Let's quickly fix that up. So test your code often, which is you're in, what grade are you in, sorry, 10, 2015, 2017, correct. So let's run it again, test it again, I'm in grade 7, it's 1999, 2004, so that looks not too bad, let's mark it, submit, failed, what did I fail on, let's have a look. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't put this line here in, so let's pay attention to details folks, print, and let's run it, uh, I'm in year 2, what year is it, 2017, and I'll finish in 27, so let's mark that. Sorry about that before. Done. So that's all good. All right, so what are we doing next? Oh, turtles. Turtles are cool. This is some drawing stuff. So write some code to drive a turtle. It might look like fun. And we're going to learn the basics of all vector graphics. Turtle is a Python module, and we need to import it. So if you want to use turtle, you have to do that. And going forward up 100 means move the turtle forward 100. So that's cool. I like the turtle. You're going to like it too. So turning corners, we've got left and right, and the number of degrees. So left and right. So really easy. This one here, it's going to turn right. 180 is just turn it back around, so that's um, pretty crazy. So next one is, oh, what did that degree sign mean? So if you have a look at this, this is pretty cool. So we want to turn 45 degrees left is the same as 315 degrees right. So it's you can turn either way. So this it, have a play with this. Make sure you understand um, the difference between inner and outer angles and left and right. So that's really cool. So moving around, the turtle follows instructions from its point of view. The turtle is facing right, forward, make it move right. So forward, you must always go forward the number of turtle steps. Um, as it moves, it draws a line, so you can draw shapes and art drawing an equilateral triangle. Now, I was talking about angles. We're turning 120 degrees because we're turning the outer angle, not the inner angle. Um, go back to the previous one, um, previous slide, to have a look. So we want to turn right by 120 degrees. So we're turning, we're turning this angle here. We're not turning that angle, even though we're trying to create a 60 degree angle. We're turning this angle here, which is 120 degrees. Okay, so we've done that. Draw an equilateral triangle. Um, user input with turtle. How much? How far do you want to move? Forward distance. Guess what? That is going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. How far do I want to move? Oh, I'll stop it running. Um, because we are actually asking for a how far? 100. 
Well, it doesn't matter what I put in because it's a string anyway. Um, and error. So we actually have to convert it to an integer. So that's what we did before. So how far? How far? One, 100, and well, 100. Bang. So I'll show you something that's pretty scary though. We're not actually, what happens if I actually put in a string? Oh, it doesn't know because, yeah. So we're not actually checking for strings. We're assuming people are going to be sane. So um, be careful with the input. Custom shapes, enter your width. What shape is this going to be? Let's work it out forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward. Mm, that's going to be a enter width 100. So a rectangle. If I put 30, it would have been a square. So what are we going to, what's our? <coughs> Write a total program to draw a square. How cool is that? So I'm going to go side of square. It's my variable name, and it's an integer, and it's input what size. Make a space, and so and remember, if you're creating an integer, you've got to do double things. Okay, so forward, side, and this is where I just go boom, right, ninety, and guess what? We go forward forward, forward. And let's run the code. Oh, did I guess what? I didn't. I forgot something. I forgot. Can you guess what I forgot? I forgot this. From turtle import. Always. From turtle import. Run the code now. What size? 100. Boom, 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 boom. And I, pro I don't need that last one, but it's nice to know. So let's go. Submit that. Let's see how we go. What? Uh, ah! We, I don't need the first right, do I? Because we're... <laughs> I was moving across, not up. That's my first move. Ah, what's happened there? I've gone forward. I have needing to turn, so think about it. I need to turn left 90 to start. This is, this is where you have to start to think. All right, that looks a bit better. Yay! So there you go. That's the drawing of the turtle. Um, some terms need angle calculations. So if you want to, if you want to do the angle between two lines, be 30. You might do something like that. But 30 is not far enough. You need to do the 180 minus 30 because remember, we're turning that. We're turning the outer angle, not the inner angle. So this one here would be much better. And get rid of. Yeah, get rid of that for a second. So you can't change. So that turns 30. And see, that's 30. That's explaining it there. So if you get stuck, you can always come back with this. But if you know the inner angle, you can always do 180 minus. Or if you want to turn left, you can do 180 plus. Use the turtle um, to draw a bow tie. OK, so it's made up of two equilateral triangles. All angles are 60 degrees. So let's have a look at let's have a look at that running again. So we have a look at the plane animation. So it goes down, up, across, up, and down. So the first one is we're turning short angle, aren't we? So let's have a look. We need to get the sides, is it? Yep. Side equals, let's see if I can do this without thinking too hard, integer input, and it is what size, uh, space, close quotes, and two brackets at the end, so we've got one for, in, one for input. Okay, so let's start our turtle. Um, we're going to turn right, and 30, and then we want to go forward by side, then we want to turn left by Ooh, what is it? It is 180 minus 60. So 120. And we're going to go forward by side. Now, this is a little tricky part because we'll be up here by now. And we want to actually go one, two times the side. So forward, and we can go two times the side. And then we can go, we're down the bottom. So we want to turn right by 20, forward by side. So we turn that way, we will turn right. One time. I think we should, and then forward by side. Now, run the code, let's have a look. Uh, guess what I didn't do again? I didn't go import from turtle. Yeah, isn't that silly? What size? Uh, 100. Ah, what's it doing? What did it do? We'll stop and have a look. Now, if you have a, if you can, I didn't actually do my, um, my turn here, did I? So let's have a look at that again. So, <coughs> what size? 100. Let's have a look. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So, little logic error. I left out the turn at the top. I was too excited about doing a double side thing. Um, so, paying attention and fairly easy to fix up. <laughs> yeah, I have passed all the tests. And it's saying, congratulations, we're going to start making decisions and work with numbers and some new shapes. I'll see you again shortly for part three.